Hey everyone, uh, this is gonna be a quick one. I've been trying many different ways to uh, get time code implemented in my process of shooting events. I finally uh, went ahead and got the DTTC1. Uh, normally what my setup looks like is I have FX3, which I know takes time code, and then I have A7S3 that you can uh, put time code in there in the audio channel. Um, so what my main concern was, uh, I had, I had, uh, I think, yeah, Zoom 86 where I got rid of and got Task MX8. And for my field recorder, what I use or what I wanted to use is uh, Task MX8 and, uh, in which I have plugged in the DTTC1 through input one. Apparently it doesn't work in input two. So I tested that, um. Uh, but it currently works with the TC1. I can see the uh, time code signal coming in to the Task MX8. Well, and uh, what the setup looks like for, I'm shooting in 60 frames per second. So I made sure that all of them had the same frame rate on camera and on the DTTC one time code generators. Um, which is yeah checks out um so I, I believe with with fx3 i have to put with fx3 i have to with fx3 i have to put a time code setting in l out and with the a7s3 and the uh, task mx8 i have to put the uh, setting to a out don't exactly know what that the the di difference is but that's what I found in my research. So that's what I'm going with for now. And uh, it's about two minutes long now. I think I want to finish this tutorial quickly. So what I want to do now is uh, import um, everything that I shot so far into into the uh, computer uh, DaVinci Resolve software and uh, see if I can align them using time code instead of waveform because I got tired of aligning them by waveform because they wouldn't always align itself. So yeah, let's check that out in the computer now. So it's been it's been a couple of days, almost a week now. I've been uh, I've been scratching my head, pulling my hair, trying to figure out how to get the time code out of audio only file in DaVinci Resolve. And you can't. That's the straightforward answer that you cannot get a time code straight from DaVinci Resolve. However, there is a workaround that is through an app called Tentacle Sync Studio. On my screen, I'm using a trial version for 14 days. It is free if you have tentacle time code generators, but I'm using a, uh, a trial version. So you can read a time code in this software. Uh, so on my screen, if uh, so on my screen, uh, the, the first file, that's the first wave file um, has a audio time code. That's where I recorded uh, time code into this using my input one into task mx8 and the second file that i recorded using input three is through the mic which is a good audio it so now this software will automatically um, give me a time code um, but i cannot export it and then import it into DaVinci Resolve and then sync it with my camera. It doesn't work that way. What I have to do is read this time code that says audio TC31804 and manually, manually insert that into my good file Go by going, uh, going into media tab, going into uh, clip attributes time code and then manually input that number here right and once that is done then I can go back and then create my multimedia multimedia clip 
in multimedia when you create that i'm just gonna create it one more time to show you guys so multimedia two camera angles one good audio file right click and uh ch -ch -ch -ch. there's a create new multi cam clip using this and these are the settings you want frame rate 23.976 or 29.97 i don't know which one, but yeah proper frame rate uh time code for angle sync and then metadata angle yeah and then if you create you get this multi cam file which gets you which gets your clips aligned using the time code that I got from Task MX8, FX3, and A7S3. So that's a lot of steps, right? Um, and uh, the software, the Tentacle Sync software, I'm, I said I'm using trial, but if you wanted to purchase it, it's 150 pounds. I did go a separate route and got this Atomos Blue and Atomos Ultra Sync 1 because now I can use the time code capabilities that is built into Task MX8 and use to send time code via Bluetooth. But I'm missing a cable, of course. Yeah, I don't have the cable that needs, that I would need to sync this guy this guy that would sync this guy to all of my DATTC1 uh, time code generators. So I'm waiting for that cable to come in and uh, I know that one works because there were a lot of tutorials, uh, but mainly I was trying to, my goal was with, with this video was if I can use just DATTC1 to sync my cameras and uh, Task MX8, which you can, you just need to buy that software. So at the, my, my solution, uh, what I would recommend is don't get DTTC1 because you get a software free with Tentacle. Uh, I think they're pretty much the same thing. You pay a little more, more a little bit more with Tentacle time code generators that are a little bit more expensive than DTTC1, but I think it's worth it. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep using DTTC1 and with the Atomos uh, time code generator generators that is able to uh, transfer the time code via Bluetooth. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't know how helpful this video is going to be for other people, but I just wanted to do my research so you guys don't have to. Uh, so the bottom bottom line is yes, you can use DTTC1 alone to do your time code with Task MX8. There is just a little bit of a manual step that you have to do, which is to copy the time code from another software and manually input it into DaVinci Resolve. I don't know if the DaVinci Resolve is gonna have a, um, a software update where they'll allow us to just recognize that time code on audio file, because it's obviously there. It's just DaVinci doesn't have capabilities right now to do it. So that's where we stand right now, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I am really happy that I figured this out. And I hope this video is useful to you. See you guys in the next one.